he said, amen. Amen. All right, so how many of you guys were here Wednesday night for service? All right, so you heard Reverend John George, who we love so much. So, identity in Christ. Let's pass the microphone um, and tell us some places where people put their identity incorrectly. Even Christians, not unbelievers, because they don't know. But where do people in the church or Christians put their identity incorrectly? Um, and like what other people tell them or call them. What other people tell What's the last part? Call them. Like, call them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Other people's words. Okay. Their mistakes. Yeah. Right. They put their identity in their past. Okay. Sports and extra. Curriculars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Great. Great. Um, material things. Material, material things. things. Yep. Good answer. Great answer. Oh, same answer for both of you guys. Okay. What else? Anyone else? Okay. Marco? Um, popularity. Popularity. Right. Yeah. Good answer. Good one. Did I go? Oh. Um, like not having like a dad or a mom. Right. Yeah. Their family issues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Their money. Mm-hmm. Very good. Good answer. Their circumstances. Their circumstances. Mm. Yeah. Peyton has another one. I heard her. I can just say it from here. Uh-huh. Or you got it, Brandy. Thank you. TikTok. Your, oh, that's cute. TikTok. Oh. That's a good one. In what they look like. So right. good. Good answer. That's such a great answer. In their appearance. Social media. Yes. Mm. All forms of social. I've got one. Oh, yeah, that's say it. Loud. Say it. In their grades. Yeah. Academics. Mm. Great. Great, great, great. I never fell into that trap. (laughs) Okay. All right. So based on the message on Wednesday, how do you avoid that? How do you avoid that? How do you avoid getting your identity wrapped up in the wrong things? You have to read the word and, like, know what God's word says about you. Like, you have to know who you are in Christ. So good, Jenna. Very good. Great answer. Okay, anyone else have anything to add to that? Oh, Amber, I apologize. Um, confessions. Confessions, yes, mm-hmm. speaking the word. That's great. Doing your devotion. Mm, doing your devotion. Very good. Keeping your mind on the word of God. That's good. Not, not taking it off. That's good. Coming to church willingly and not being forced to by Ooh. mom or dad. So oh, facts. That's great. So good. Good answer. A great answer. I remember him saying that. Like, that's why it's so important that you come to church. So you can understand who, where your identity actually is. Okay? Anyone else? All right, let's go to 1 Samuel 16, verse 7, before we jump into our notes. 1 Samuel 16, 7. Who knows what three parts we are all made of? We have three parts. What are they? Marco? Marco, Marco, Marco. Polo. Emotions. That's the, the three parts of your soul, which is really good. Good answer. What, what three parts are we? Jackson said it. We're spirit, soul, and body. Now, Marco, what are the three parts of your soul? Mind, will, and emotions. Good exactly. job. So we have three parts. But guys, you need to say it this way and write it down this way. They'll put it on the screen. You are a soul. I'm sorry, you are a spirit. Sorry. You are a spirit. You have a soul and you live in a body. It'll be on the screen. You are a spirit. You have a soul and you live in a body. You can't get that mess, you can't t- get that turned around. Pull up the girl Jasmine. She I think she just um She got a million bucks. She had an allergic reaction to lip fillers. So there's a before and after picture. It should be all over. It was in Daily Mail this past week. Um, Which I'm not against that. Please understand She got a million bucks? She got a million bucks. Do her lips go back to normal? uh, That's the thing. I don't know. Not worth it. Uh, Please understand that I'm not against that. You can feel and tuck and lift. Whatever. Whatever. 
I'm not against any of that, but I'm just telling you that's a temporary fix because your body is temporary. Okay, so let me know. You have a spirit. You, um, you are a spirit. You have a soul. You live in a body. So this is the priority, guys. This is the priority. Now, the reason why your body isn't number two, a lot of people try to make their body number two. Have you ever been around somebody who was jacked physically, but they're like an idiot? Do you know what I mean? That's not a good situation. Like, if you are, like, cut and ripped. Like, I, I, I do this thing, like, it's so funny. First Samuel 16, 7. I do this thing, it's so funny, y'all. When I see somebody that obviously works out, whoever I'm with, I'm like, hey, do you think they work out? It's, like, so funny. Like, and then other if, no, times when Pastor Trudy's by herself, she still says, hey, do you think they work I out? So, I'll say it to myself, like, even if nobody's around because it makes me laugh. I like that laugh. about you, babe. Um, <laughs> but, guys, the thing about it is 75 to 82% of all diseases in your body are tied to your emotional health. Mm. They have nothing to do with your diet. And everyone's like, oh, you can't eat this and you can't eat that. And I'm allergic to this. And I'm allergic to that. I'm not saying you're not. But I'm just saying, like, the health of your soul, write down 3 John 2, 3 John 2. It says, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and you are in health even as your soul prospers. So health is tied to your soul, which is your what? Mind, will, emotions. Everybody got it, 3 John 2? Okay, we got the picture. Let's see her. Whoa! What are those? Wait, what's the picture in the bottom middle? It's, it's, oh, is that from Monsters, Inc.? Oh, my Lord. Honestly, your lips were fine. Why would you do that? Oh, it's like her whole face. Oh, man. That's well, and the bad. thing about it is, guys, it's all good. Like, um, you know, I was at a spa like several years ago getting a facial, just like a normal facial um, for my birthday. And I was like, everybody in the family is doing it. Dad, you're getting a facial. Mom, you're getting a facial. Pastor Greg, like, everyone, this is what we're doing. Y'all, well, I look like I was in sixth grade. My skin was so soft and young looking. Well, they find out that it's <laughs> like we're celebrating my birthday. She was like, oh, I didn't know it was your birthday. She was like, why don't you come back here and like I'll give you some little birthday Botox. I'm like, no, that's okay. I don't want any birthday Botox. You know, like, because that's, that's like a thing. Like, you do that. Just get a little Botox. And I was like, no, that's okay. And so she's like, well, I want to do something for your birthday. So she gave me some samples of this shampoo and conditioner, y'all, that literally is like, it's amazing. So I got, a, I got, some, but like that girl could have just gone with their friends. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, Hey, let's all go get lip fillers. Like we're, do, do you understand what I'm saying? And right. again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. It's not necessarily what you do, but it's why you do it. And it's not necessarily what you have, but how you got it. Is it okay if you live in a huge house? Absolutely. Yep. Is it okay if you stole it? Nope. No. So it's not what you have. It's how you got it. And is it okay if you live in a big house at the expense of God's plan for your life? No. No. Like I ran into somebody like, oh, I got a car. I got a house. I'm like, bro, listen. I listen, bet you did, bro. bro. I bet no you one did. Cares Running about from God. You're not even in the Come plan on, of God man. right Come now. On, bro. You know me, bro. Why are you talking to me like that? As if I care about your house or your car or your little girlfriend over there. Because I know you know better. And it's just sad because you could see it in his face like he's trying to convince us how great his life is and it was just really sad how like, great is, is your life, life. Sing, sing with me how great, great is your life it ain't great it ain't, it ain't great it ain't bro and guys you decide your character is being formed now okay you don't wait till all these opportunities knock at right. your door you don't wait until somebody asks you out to decide how you're going to give an answer. Oh, come on. You don't wait until you're offered your first joint to give an answer. You decide now. It's called pre-choice choices, which means I do what the word says. Um, okay, call me back. Let me see if that's in the word. Uh, actually, I can't find it. I can't find it. It says it ain't the season. So it no, ain't I will the not season. be. That's what my Bible I will says. not be hooking in up all with translations, you. I will it not ain't be sexting you. I will not be texting you ever. dudes. I will not be, come on, church. <laughs> In my mind, like this buzzer just went off. It's like, middle school, middle school, middle school, middle school. Because I almost just went into like some <laughs> late night Adult varsity ministry. Ministry time. <laughs> not that you guys aren't, wouldn't be aware, but like, 
I don't even want to discuss it. You right. know, there's verses in the Bible that say, Facts. don't even speak of what people do in darkness. Facts. All right. So again, you have a spirit, which means that's your number one priority. Is it fed? Is it fed or is it starving? Are you listening to the word? Are you reading the word? Like, is that actually important to you? Because listen, how do people become successful in any endeavor? Starts with an F. It's a really long word. Write it down. Fundamentals. Ooh, powerful. <laughs> when you miss the fundamentals, <laughs> it's all great when somebody shoots a three. Have, has, have you guys ever watched somebody like, who's going for St. Peter's? Anybody but me? I am because my wife is. What? It, losers. Okay, you, y'all, babe. March Madness. Come on. Who's your, who, who's your team? I don't watch it either. <laughs> My dad, Pastor Dean's going for Duke. Anybody going for Duke? A couple people going for Duke? We got a couple Duke fans. We got you one. We Duke? got two. Pastor Duke? Dean's going for Duke. I'm going for St. Peter's. Y'all, I'm going for St. Peter's just because they came in, like, seated so bad. And they've just, like, We're I for the underdog. I, I can, can fly. fly. <clears throat> Ask me how many games I've watched. I can touch the sky. None. You got to watch the game. Other people can do that. Right, we can just find out if our team won or not. I mean, you can if you want, but you ain't got to watch the game to have a team. (laughs) Anyways, guys, successful in any enterprise is tied to fundamentals. How many of you guys have been in dance? Ballet. Okay, stand up just in your seat. Show me first position. Do you guys remember it? I feel like it was this, right? There's a first position? Is this first? Oh, wow, yeah, that's what she's doing. Seriously, second? Is this second? Charity, you're so good. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, everything that they do, like, give me, give me like, the best Nutcracker, just a clip of the Nutcracker, yeah, like NYC, Broadway's. Give me Broadway's Nutcracker. NYC. Like, NYC. Broad, all of it's fundamental. NYC Ballet. Michael Jordan. Athletes that you guys like. It's all fundamentals. The same is true in your relationship with God. It's not like all these feelings. No, there's actually fundamentals that go with it. And the people who don't do the fundamentals sincerely, Mm -hmm. you're not going to be successful. That's the bottom line. I don't care how often you come to church. I don't care how close you are to me and PG, we your dogs, whatever. We got our secret handshake and everything. It's not going to sustain you. Right. You have, Pastor Dean, uh, when, when we were growing up, I remember him saying like somebody would shoot a three like, and it was like, he would call it unconscious. Right. Like there was no possible way that that went in. How in the world did that go in? That was not tied to any fundamental. That was like, you know, when they're like barely on the, in the, in like not in the. Half court shot. Yes. And they're barely inside. Like right. they're almost hanging off and it just, you know, and it goes in and everyone's like. Ah. You know, it's like they're the winning shot. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's a winning shot. Well, guys, you don't win games on those accidents. Right. You win games by training and fundamentally being sound. Mm-hmm. Do you read the word every day? Do you listen to the word? Do you speak the word every single day? What are some other fundamentals that you know are like daily? We'll pass mics around. They're pulling up Nutcracker for us. So, and I want to I drive this point home. <laughs> when, when we say when opportunity comes, it's too late to prepare. It's just like Lawson. He rides motorcycles, her older brother. He's out there practicing his corners and stuff. He's doing that before the competition comes. If it's, if it's like right before the competition and they're like, hey, where, where's Lawson? We're ready to start. Oh, he's out there practicing. No, it's too late at that point. Just like you guys. How many of you guys like basketball, play basketball? Didn't you have ever had to practice free throws? Right? And you, and you practice passing drills. And, and you practice all these different things. You practice dribbling. How many of you can dribble really good with your right hand and not so good with your left hand? Come on, somebody. How many of you can dribble good with both hands? All right. All right. I believe that. I believe that. Right? So what do you do? You, you have to practice with your non-dominant hand. Why? So you can get better. Well, if you're like right before the game, it's like too late, bro. You should have already been practicing your dribbling skills. You should have already been practicing your passing skills. You should have already been practicing your free throws. So when opportunity comes, you need to know, listen, if somebody asks me uh, to do this, I'm ready to say no. If somebody asks me to do that, I'm ready to say no. Why? Because you want to be prepared when that moment comes and not in a moment of weakness make a bad decision that costs you greatly. Does that make sense? And we're, we don't shy away from preaching this as firmly as we do because we've seen people time after time after time. And it's like time after time. You look and you look and you will find me. 
time after time. So, we've seen it time and time again. Thanks, Megan. Charity, I love you. So, we've seen it time and time again where people can look the part, right? I could dress up like in the, the flyest basketball getup you've ever seen, the coolest shoes you've ever seen, the most luxurious jersey and shorts, the whole nine, like my sweat band on my forehead. Like I'll just look the part. This guy looks like a basketball player, right? But then I get out there and just struggle. We've seen people that look the part, and, and they want to look like they're doing the deal, and they want to look like they have a relationship with God, and they want to look like they're about his business. But when things go wrong, and they make a bad decision in a moment of weakness, you have to ask yourself, why were they okay to throw their entire life away in one moment of time? Give me one moment in time. Y'all, life happens in moments. I know some students, it's like if you would have just said, block, block, block. You know what I mean? In one moment. Exactly, the bro. The game changed. You can't text me because I already blocked your number. <clears throat> Okay, dailies. What are some dailies? You know, like daily fundamentals for successful Christianity. What are they? Praying in the Holy Spirit. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Reading your Bible. Reading the Bible. Perfect. What else, Marco? Confessions. Confessions. Great answer. Blocking the bad bros. Good answer. I don't want to hold it. Listening to the word. Yeah. Listening. listening to the word. Yeah, that one hasn't been said. That's great, and I. Great answer. Peyton, you're fine. You Scott hitting the She's microphone. Fine. No big deal. It wasn't bad. I saw, I saw it. You're That'll fine. That'll buff out. No problem. You're fine. Keeping your area clean. Good answer. Good answer. Fundamentally. Fund a little mentally important. Saying no to things that you know that are like of the world. Yeah. So good. Great answer. Yeah. Saying no when you need to say no. You guys are so smart. All right. So 1 Samuel 16, 7. The Lord told Samuel, do not look on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. For man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Let's look at the fundamentals at this Nutcracker Ballet. First position. <laughs> with fundamentals that was epic <laughs> you can't you can't like dance on your toes like that oh. without fundamentals no way. I have a friend that actually teaches ballet to football players to help them with their agility right have y'all heard of that that's like a thing uh, hello I'll call you back everybody say hi to Mac <laughs> I love you, man. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. I just hung up on him. He was still talking. I know. He's okay. Did you hit answer? Yeah. That was so weird. Like, it looked like a YouTube short. It did because it was vertical. And so and I thought I was like, him. that's why I was like, hello. Sorry, and Mac. I was like, oh, Call you oh, back, that's bro. That's a little person. That's a person. That's oh, so hope fundamentals. I didn't have an ugly look on my face. Fundamentals. You guys got the fundamentals? I mean, ankles. Your ankles can't support you like that at first. But over the process of what? Time. time repetition. Time after time. Repetition, right? <laughs> so why, why would people get so weird about us as pastors and leaders, uh, spiritual leaders in your life, encouraging you, hey, you're going to have to spend time in the Word? Why would people get weird about that? Isn't that just it's like the idiots. enemy to deceive people, <laughs> to make them feel like, you're not going to tell me what to do. I don't need strong ankles to be in ballet. I don't need to practice okay. my free throws. Okay, bro, don't practice your free throws. And you know what? You're not going to play. Y'all, Texas fact, you're, you're Tech could have won. Make the, you're not even going to make the team, bro. Texas Tech could have won on free throws. You're right, bro. We're not going to tell I'm you what to do. I'm glad me and three other girls are aware of March Madness right now. Enjoy your time on the bench. What happened? Guys, we're not a part of this demasculation society. Exactly. Oh, y'all don't like basketball. Okay, we like fine. football. Football's a manly sport. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, it's fine. I, I I'm really y'all. I just want to be a. I just want to be relatable. So that's why I'll kind of find some things out and like pick a team. Do you know what I mean? I got you. Because you're already a girl, and everyone's like, no, women preachers, anyways. Women preachers are bad. And Pastor so, Charity, you're our favorite preacher. So you just like we have. 
We have no problem with women <laughs> preachers around here. You bring the heat, girl. You bring the heat. Woo! Hold on, let me get that lipstick. You bring the heat. Fundamentals, guys. Yeah. Listen, if you don't like it's basketball, good. I don't care. Right. I don't. If care. you don't like football, I don't, I don't like care. It. If you don't like hockey, okay. if you don't like music, if you don't like singing, th those things are are just the hobbies. The hills are alive Live with, with the, the sound, sound of music. So it doesn't matter what you're into in, in, as far as your hobbies you're go. You're probably not into that for sure. Right? You might not be into the sound of music, <laughs> which I get. It's a great movie. It's a great movie. It has a happy ending. It's a lot of singing. It's just a lot of singing. Okay. But the Romans, point is, yeah, guys, spiritually, you're, we need you. We want you. We implore you. Please. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Be Romans strong. Romans 8, 29. For those whom he did foreknow, he was also aware beforehand what? Identity determines character, attitude, outlook, relationships, future, and destiny. Fill them in. He knew you before. Guys, you don't need to look to the world to tell you who you are. He already knows who you are. You just have to surrender to him. And you surrender to him one day at a time. Not once a year at camp. Come on, somebody. Not once preach. a year at summer internship. Right. And then everything just starts to unravel. No, you surrender every day. That's why we sing that song. I don't want it if you're not, not in it. I, I just want you. you. Why do we say that? We say, Lord, you have my life every part, every day. I'm surrendered. If you don't surrender daily, there will come a day and you will do, 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 walk away. Right? You don't su surrender daily. One day you will walk away. I like that circus music that just followed that <laughs> And it will be a circus. The enemy will trick you into being a circus. And he, exactly. he's, he's dirty, y'all. He's so dirty. If you have the wrong identity, you'll never become who God made you to be. Mm. Right? Identity, another way of saying security. Like if you have your security tied up in X, Y, Z, you will not. If I had my security tied up in my dreams or my education, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. No one is little and is like, when I grow up, I want to be a youth pastor. Said no one, maybe four people. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not like a thing. That's not like a thing. And then you do it for so many years and people think you automatically should be promoted to adult ministry. The only problem with adult ministry is adults. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. I love them. I, I, just, I just like teenagers better. It's bottom line. Y'all, we were at this thing over the holiday, and I saw these teenagers, and they were just acting like idiots. And I was just like, literally, we turned to each other at the same time. Where other people would be Like annoyed. you were thinking it, and I said it. <coughs> Facts. Where other people would be annoyed, I was like. I, just, I love teenagers. I miss teenagers right now. <laughs> like awkwardly. They were just acting crazy. It's like, they're yeah. teenagers. Let them be crazy. Yeah. Not in a like right. not, not in, in a, like a like carnal, carnal way. way, but just like in a, just in a fun way. Fun, fun way. Like, hey, let's have fun. Let's be let's be loud. Mm. If you don't decide who you are, you discover. That's the thing. Like when people are like, "What do you want to be when I grow up?" Like you get to pick that. You don't get to pick that. A sold out believer doesn't get to pick that. Right. You know, I'm going to discover who God made me to be. Hey, Here's some yeah. things that I'm interested in. Here's some desires that I've kind of thought about. But honestly, like every single day of my life, like my goal is that I might know him. That's what Philippians 3.10 says, that I might know him. I want to know him as my provider. Guys, if you want to win the big battles, you have to win the small battles. So you start using your faith in little things. Lord, I just ask you for, for like supernatural favor today. Like just help me get through this day and let it be so obvious that I'm favored. When you do that, when you put your faith to work that way, you know, I was like at a thing and I was like paying for my parking this, this past week and like there's levels. So like preferred parking is one prize, then regular parking is another prize. And if you're like, you know, if you're a part of the club, you get like discounts or whatever. So I gave them my card and I said, Hey, um, we would like preferred, but we're not special. Like I was just being funny. Like I don't have any discounts. Like we're not special. And the girl was like, Oh, you are special. You're so special. I'm giving it to you for free. So I don't even have to pay. Hey. Do you know what I'm saying? But like, there's an expectation. Like I call into existence, supernatural, double favor everywhere we go. Things always happen for me that are like, wow, you didn't pay for that, but you got it for free. You just got a free upgrade, right? You have to ask for it. You have to throw around, you know, I've got ethnicity in my blood. None of that. 
None of that. He can do for you what nobody else can do for you. But you start using your faith in the small things with a subject that's been very challenging to you with a, with something in your physical body, like a wart or, you know what I'm saying? You start with something small and you let your faith continue to escalate and be developed. Maybe it's the number of salvations that you get at or nights. I know some of you guys, Braxton shared that he was using his faith for 50 people to get 50 people saved. Like you start and thank you, Jack. Jackson, that's a great thing. To- Solid. Do you understand? Like you start with where you are mm-hmm. and your muscle gets bigger. Your faith muscle gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Amen. Amen. So you become what you behold. That's why it's so important. I remember like, you know, the TV was like a thing like, oh, oh my gosh, the looking box. Now we're all going to, um, there was a fire by night that we used to watch and it was like this amazing family and they were so productive and busy. And then TV happened and then it shows them like fast forward a couple years later, they lost their house. They're all super huge, like grossly animated, overweight, not doing anything but watching TV. Well, now you literally walk around with a TV. Mm. So you've got to be so intentional. You know, there's just certain things like I don't even check it out. Like I never check my YouTube feed. Ever. And like, honestly, all that's going to come up on mine. I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk down to myself. So it's like people are glaring at me right now in the church. The church is getting really, really real right now. Okay. Um, mostly what's going to come up in my feed is like, is like, um, messages because that's the only thing that I listen to. But y'all, if I I just like, that's just a line that I don't cross because if I cross that line, do you know, now I'm not saying there's not other things in my life that I have to be like, okay, you need to be aware. Like you, you, you know what I'm saying? But like, for me, I just drew a line. Like I can't do that because if I cross that line, when is it going to end? Right. You become what you behold. And it only takes one day, y'all one decision. How many wrong decisions did the rich young ruler make? Go to Mark 10. Mm. Y'all, he just made one. How many of you could say, you know what? I'm doing everything right, but there's just like one thing. Mm. For most of us, it's like, well, there's maybe one or two, not just one. Right. Right? This guy literally, Jesus vouched for the fact that he had done everything right except one thing. But he walked away for that one thing. Mm. One thing, one day. Read it to him. Mark 10, 17 through... About, yeah, 22. And when he, verse 17. And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running. When he was gone forth. I think you need to say it like. There King came James. one running and You're he gonna, kneeled. Yes. He kneeled to him and asked him, good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is not one good. There is none good but one, and that is God. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor your father and your mother. And he answered and said unto him, Master, all these things have I observed from my youth. And then Jesus, beholding him, loved him and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go your way, sell whatever you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, take up your cross, and follow me. And he was very sad, and he went away grieved, for he had great possessions. Right? He had done everything right from his youth, which you guys are youth, right? Yay, I did everything right from my youth. But that one thing he didn't get rid of. Everybody say, not me. You got to make that decision, not just now. But tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, you keep saying, not no. me. No, when you need to say no, yes, when you need to say Amen. Matthew 24, 35, heaven and earth will pass away, but the words will not pass away. So your focus should be on what? The word. Why was I come coming green? I was like best dressed. Okay, no one cares what, you, what personality you were whenever you were that. Right. Right? This is eternal. This never changes. People change. Situations change. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. I will also reject you from being a priest for me because you have forgotten the law of your God. I will also forget your children. So God created us like him so that we could be compatible. Amen. (laughs) 
Remember in Genesis, he created us in his likeness and in his image. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any person is engrafted in Christ, the Messiah, means the anointed one, he is a new creation. Everybody say a new creation. It says the old, the previous moral and spiritual condition has passed away. Behold, the fresh and new has come. That word there, sozo, is all-encompassing salvation, right? It's like one little word, sozo, it's just four letters, but it's so big in what it means. Like when you receive Jesus, it's not just like, okay, I got my ticket to heaven. No, it's literally you're redeemed from the curse of the law. You could say, I'm redeemed from poverty. I'm no longer bound by poverty. I'm redeemed from sickness. I'm no longer bound by sickness. I'm redeemed from death. Death no longer has a sting. Hell is no longer my home. Heaven is now my home. I I have victory in life. I've been made an overcomer. I've been made more than a conqueror. Like all these things, you could just go on and on and on and on. That's what sozo or salvation is. Is It's all encompassing. Jesus didn't just save you so that you can go to heaven. He saved you so that you could be a what? A success. How many of you like to win? Did you know that God built that into us to be conquerors? We are the champions, my my friend. friend. We'll keep on fighting till the end. Right, we're created to be Amen. successful. Our legal authority isn't found in religious works, but ongoing relationship with Christ. See, you're coming to church and even serving. Let's give our junior bodybuilders a round of applause. Several of you have got your shirts on. <laughs> Guys, that will not guarantee your success. It has to be who you really are behind closed doors. Facts. And guys, There's no such thing as behind closed doors as it pertains to the Father. Because everything's naked and open before him. You know that, Mm -hmm. right? It's behind closed doors to other people. Right. (coughs) (coughs) Knowing and declaring who you are in Christ and what you have in Christ by virtue of his redemption is imperative. What does the word imperative mean? It is of the utmost importance, right? Imperative, like it's non-negotiable. It, it must be. It's imperative. It has to be. Knowing and declaring who you are. Knowing, everybody say knowing and declaring. So it's not enough to just know, like in your mind, here's your thoughts. Yes, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm a new creation. You can't just think those thoughts. You have to declare what you know from the word. You have to make that decree. You have to make that declaration. You have to continue making that declaration, right? Like the Bible says, out of the abundance of our heart, what happens? Our mouth speaks. So when you're feeding on the word and feeding on the word and feeding on the word and putting that word down in your heart, when when that pressure comes, it's only then that you're going to be able to speak the word. Why? Because you've been putting the right things in. When the pressure comes, then the right things will come out. That's, again, another point why we encourage you to spend time in the Word. Listen to the Word. Hear the Word. Listen to the messages over. Read your Bible every single day. Those things are of the utmost important. Titus 3, 3 through 7. For we also were once thoughtless, which means you're not anymore. Mm -hmm. And senseless, which means you're not anymore. Obstinate and disobedient. Deluded and misled. Slaves to all sorts of cravings and pleasures. Wasting our days in malice and jealousy and envy. Hateful, hated, detestable, and hating one another. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior to man appeared, he saved us. Not because of any of our works of righteousness, but because of his own mercy. So we have been given all things right here and now. Not just for heaven. Guys, getting a ticket to heaven is not enough. You need to know how to cooperate with heaven so that you can have heaven on earth. Do you know that it's way easier to marry one time than multiple times? Mm -hmm. Do you know it's way easier to do the right thing than have to get over doing the wrong thing? Just saying. Lack of identity in him reveals all insecurities. 
We could say it another way. Like, when you don't have your identity in him, all of your insecurities will be revealed. Right? They're going to come to the surface. They're going to show up in your life. (laughs) That's why it's important because when we know and believe in his love for us, when we actually believe that we are in Christ and that we've been created with significance and importance upon our life, and we actually believe that, and we continue to press into our relationship with him, and all of our confidence is in the fact that we are his son or his daughter, then all those other things are driven out. The things that we're not good at don't yeah. matter. Well, and what about, what, what do insecure people do? Dumb, dumb. They make dumb decisions. Dumb, da dumb, dumb. Dumb, da dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> Powerful vocal cords. So That's dumb. Dirty. Insecure, like, so if you're making dumb decisions, it's not like, oh, I need to quit doing that. It's like, no, go a little bit deeper. Yeah. Go a little bit deeper. We've been talking about that on Youth Jumpstart. Like, let's go a little bit deeper and realize that you're doing dumb things because your identity is not rooted. Because secure people do the right thing. Exactly. So when your identity. the next right right thing. thing. When your identity is in him, what does it produce in your life? Good choices. Boldness. Right? Remember, even even that it says, and, and they could tell that the disciples had been with Jesus. Yeah. Because of their boldness. Yeah. Right. That when you spend time with him, you're developing your identity. You're, you're discovering yeah. your proper identity, who you truly are. And when you discover who you truly are, then that will produce boldness in your life. That's right. Somebody says something about the way you live. You don't care because you have boldness. You know why you live the way you live. Amen. You're, you're, you're not ashamed of the gospel yeah. of Jesus Christ. You're not ashamed of your life. Why? Because your identity is in Christ Jesus. Write it down. Bold isn't rude. Amen. Right? Just I didn't say bold. rude. I said bold. Well, I don't want to hurt their feelings. Oh, my gosh. Uh, they needed to get right. If their feelings are based on your performance. Yeah, my feelings with you. With your performance. That's the wrong kind of friend, guys. Right. If people's love or friendship is conditional based on you doing wrong things. If you're their problem now, you'll be their problem <laughs> in the future. They'll continue and to like, make what's you that? Their what's problem. that illustration? Like, it's so so good. So, like, put Miguel on this top Miguel. level. Miguel, give a big round of applause. Let's for big Miguel. round of applause for Miguel. Let's go, Miguel. Okay, Pastor Greg, like, yes. just show him. Just show him. You guys all know this, right? But it's like, it's way easier for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, pull me up there. Okay, he can't pull me up there. But if I try and pull him down. Why, why was it easy? Not because I'm so strong, obviously, but no, right? It's easier for me to pull him down than it is for him to pull me up. Thank you, Miguel. Appreciate you. <clears throat> in the same way in life. Same way in life, People, guys. The enemy well, they're my is friends. constantly trying to drag you down. I didn't say your friends were the enemy. You're on the highway to hell. I didn't say your friends were the enemy, but did you know that your friends can be used by the wow. enemy? They can be yielded to the enemy and not even know it. Your friends are on the highway to hell. Don't get on that highway. Exactly, bro. I'm out. Did y'all know that was a song? Just I was like, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to crappy music. <laughs> I don't either, God, y'all. Don't. I'm t- this is an example. This right. example, y'all, for a musical person, you get it in mm. and it's... It's in there. It's in there. Identity gives you boldness. Okay, let's go to Revelation 12, 10 through 11. How do we overcome? What two things? Blood of the the Lamb, lamb word of our testimony. testimony. Which is God's part? The blood. The blood. What's your part? The word of our testimony. What does that mean, word of my testimony? It starts with a C. Confession. You overcome by the blood, which is God's part, what Jesus did. And the word of your testimony, which is your part, which is what? Confession. Confession. Is it this way? Yes. Got to do it backwards. Let's go. That doesn't stand for crib, y'all. That stands for confession. <laughs> Overcame, subdue, conquer, prevail, and get the victory. That doesn't, like, why are, why are, why are more Christians, y'all, like, I was just, like, seeing some teenagers, I'm just like, wow, these teenagers, like, they don't know if they're a boy or a girl, and they're just depressed, and, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shouldn't be you. Right. And you should share what you have with others who are hurting and don't know. Amen. Like, we shouldn't be, like, taking it from the enemy. 
We should be overcoming and being victorious. So many believers are tanking. Why? That some of them go to church, but it's not enough to go to church. Church has to be in you. This has to be real to you every single day of your life. Blood is the atoning blood of Christ. And the word is doctrinal utterance, saying it. So we have to speak what God says you are. Mm-hmm. Just like Jenna said, you have to know what you are. You have to find it in the word of God and you have to say it. If faith, write it down. It'll be on the screen. If faith doesn't move your mouth, it will not move your mountains. Because that's how it moves your mountains, actually. So if you really believe that, then say it. <clears throat> say it. Say what you believe and believe what you say. Lives is heart, life, soul, and mind. <clears throat> I'm sorry, it's lives. They did not love their lives. Excuse me. They didn't love their life. You got to let go of you if you're going to have him. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. If I've got this in my hand, which represents my plan, which actually I'm going to do this one because the word always represents, water always represents the word. If I've got this in my hand and you are the father trying to give me your plan, what am I going to have to do? In order to make this work. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Work with me. Put, Put it this down. down hey, let's in order go. to pick this up. Facts. Guys, if you're not putting down the video game controller right now, do you think you're going to put down the opportunity mm. to have that little relationship in two years? Mm. The faithfulness, like the muscles grow right? They grow in increments. If I go to the gym today and I'm like, Hey, I'm going to start working out. And I'm like, yeah, just throw 500s on these. Just let me, <laughs> just let I got this. Pastor Jerry could probably do it. She is strong. That is not true. Okay. He's a very nice kind She's man, like, but like, it's not happening, right? I'm not going to go up in there and start. What's like a bunch to bench? Like it would, I would just like not happen. I mean, if you're going to rep like 225, that's like two plates on each side. Yeah. I'm like 225s, load them up, like put on load the Load them plates. up, put on the four, or 245s. Yo, it's not happening right like it's not happening like literally like I was like like floating on the lazy river this week and like I had my arms like holding on to my YouTube, my my inner tube thing and I was like low-key sore the next day because <laughs> I'm like all in like if we're gonna be at this lazy river Hours. how long are we gonna be here Hours. okay I'm gonna be in the pool until we leave Just like give me some of that how you do one thing is how you do everything like I'm all, all in. in like if I'm gonna preach I'm gonna in preach youth ministry I'll preach every day let's go if we're going to the pool I'm gonna be in the let's pool go. like let's give me the most so time. literally I'm not doing 225s on either side 245s it, whatever yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to grow up into that two plates so if you can't turn off YouTube now come on she preaching y'all facts <clears throat> <clears throat> they loved not their life. I don't love my life. I yeah. want him. I don't want it if you're, you're not, not in it. I, I just, just want you. you. You know, like your dream's so empty. So empty. Do you know that this is actually depleting hydration from my body with every sip? Wow, huh? I know, right? <laughs> Which is why I, I keep coughing. <laughs> Charity. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this actually back. depletes hydration. Coke products. Caffeine is the worst. You think you're hydrating? You're not hydrating. What does that mean? Your plans are actually taking fulfillment. They're taking joy from you. <laughs> He's going to drink the whole thing at once. The water of the word. Yes. Did you guys get that? Like your dreams actually will take the joy from you. They will take the life from you. Okay. People who walk away from what they know to do. You don't see them in a couple years and they're better. They're Facts. worse. Facts y'all. Take they're it worse. from your youth pastors who are a little bit older than you and have seen this play out. 
this more than one time. Um, Acts 13, you want to read those verses really, yes, really quickly? Yes, let's read the verses. Acts chapter 13, verse 29 through 33. The King James. If you're going to read it in that, you got to do the voice. So I encourage you to read it in AMPC. Let's go straight to the Amplified Classic here. <laughs> <laughs> and when they had finished and fulfilled everything that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. Verse 30, but God raised him from the dead. Everybody say glory to God. Glory Did you know God. that God raised Jesus from the dead? Verse 31, and for many days he appeared to those who came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, and they are his witnesses to the people. Verse 32, so now we are bringing you the good news or the gospel that what God promised to our forefathers, this he has completely fulfilled for us, their children, by raising up Jesus as it is written in the second Psalm, you are my son. Today I have begotten you because caused you to arise to be born, formally shown you to be the Messiah. How? By the resurrection. Hallelujah. God completed what was prophesied, right? He, he brought it to pass. He sent Jesus. Jesus. Well, and that's the thing. Like, it's like, oh, everyone's so sad. But like, no, like, and that's what people are like, you've given up so much. And Thank you for your sacrifice. This is not a sacrifice. This is not a sacrifice. Please don't compare what we do to what Jesus did. Right. But look, he gave up his life. And what happened? He became victorious. Do you already have that blank? When he is your identity, you will always come out victorious. Things don't get worse in life. They get better. That's your last blank. And then we're out. We're going to worship. Or are we, what are we doing right now? Y'all don't worship in this church. That's fine. No, they don't have the blank. <laughs> Everyone's talking and I can't tell what anyone's saying. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> it just came up. I just got to That stop. just came up, babe. What you put in when you put that in, a musician? It's going to come out. I feel hydrated personally. Uh, yeah, you just slammed a water. And honestly, everyone, I already have You guys don't the have the last blank? When he's your identity, you will always come out victorious. Do you guys have that one? Okay, we'll just write Okay, then it go down. ahead and write, write it, it down. down on the Note takers are history makers. Boom. It's on the screen, guys. guys. Don't forget. Take a photo of don't it forget, or guys. write it down. Note takers are history makers. I encourage you guys to take notes. So, like, today. nothing, you, like, when you lay things down, life doesn't get worse, it gets better. better. So start doing it now. And that doesn't mean that there's still not time to play basketball. That doesn't mean there's still not time to play some games or whatever. Right? But you just right. keep things in the proper priority. Right. Okay? That's the, you, you, if you don't keep the main thing the main thing as a 12-year-old, what mm -hmm. makes you think you're going to have the main thing as the main thing That's as an 18-year-old? That's a good point. Good point right there. So you can keep it all together as long as people are around. Mm. But then when people aren't around, it's the you, the real you. Ooh. Right? I see the real you. I see the real you. <clears throat> he sees the real you. That's a Toby Mac song, you guys. It's a great one. It's a great one. Toby Mac. Toby Mac. Okay, guys, we love you. Be blessed today. Let's go to God.